Part three. All right. But anyway, we'll visit this guy and maybe have her as a guest there to, to tell you about that for your blog. Maybe how to make it both ways, PVM and PVP. It doesn't have to be a PVP character to actually show you how to do PVP character. But uh, the gear set on this guy, from what I remember of seeing, if this is the same one, is bad ass. I put a lot of work into this yeah, guy. Yeah, this, this is a bad mofo when it comes to... He's pretty much a standalone character, uh, just like that that uh, char Chargedin, Oridin that you have going on. But uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a later video. Back to the trading. Let's start from the beginning here. Let's back up and say, okay, I just started playing. I don't have a whole lot of gear. Uh... I want to do magic finding. I found a couple of things that might be worth something. I'm not really sure. Uh, something that drops like candy is like you're not going to be able to trade for is like a Geeds. Okay, you're not going to trade a Geeds for anything. Pretty much people give those away these days. They're like, here you well, go, man. Well, no, that, that does depend. Okay. Um, if it's a crap Geeds, yes. I, I've given away so many Geeds. Well, I mean, I'd, I'd got to where I wouldn't even trade them things anymore. I just, if I find one, I give it to somebody. That's pretty much what I do, but if you find one um, with good stats, with Ooh. really high or perfect magic find, really high or perfect gold find, um, people will pay you for those because a lot of people make gold find barbs or magic find characters. So people will cough up the money for perfect. Um but if it's just a low stat, generic, you may as well just give it away. Oh, by the way, folks, check it out. It's raining in the rogue encampment, and that's really weird because it's raining outside. <laughs> it just started raining at the same time. That's odd. All right, so anyway, go ahead. That was pretty much it on the key. Well, no, I'm talking about, let's talk about other items, like give an example. On, uh, it's hard to really put it into terms as to, uh, okay, take this, take, I found some gore riders. Okay, Gore Riders, I mean, if we go commerce-wise and we flip the script a little bit and just actually talk about worth and value, Gore Riders in rune terms, how much would Gore Riders be worth? Just for some normal Gore Riders. Uh, about limb or pole. Now, okay. bear in mind, I haven't been on Diablo in a while. Yeah, we, but we touched that on that in the, yeah, we touched on that in the beginning. I mean, the commerce do vary, but they're, we're talking they're about the commerce. Limb or pole. Let's just take it like this. The commerce that we're talking about has been two or three months old, okay? About that. Because we really, whenever we play, we've been doing power leveling here lately and just magic find runs for ourselves. Like doing keys and doing uber trist. All right, that's all we've really been focusing on and building characters. We haven't really traded a whole lot, and that's the reason why we're saying keep in mind that it might vary a little bit. And you might have somebody say, that's not enough, I want this. And if it's a reasonable person, they'll tell you what extra they want. You know, so if you you got those assholes everywhere on Battle.net, whether it's East Server, Europe, West, whatever. All right, just be patient with it. And we're just going to give you an example of what things were worth three months ago. All right, it shouldn't have changed that much in 90 days. Being this close to a ladder reset, especially, it ought to, you know, people are going to be. Being it, this close to a ladder reset at the moment, the economy is just. Dead. Yeah. There's nobody on Diablo. So the economy is not only suffering in the real, real world, but on Battle.net world as well. All right. So anyway, let's just take for example some Gore Riders. You, 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 uh, you said limb or pull. All right. And let's say for instance, uh, what do we have for, uh, for an example here? Uh, let's say this Andal staff. What do those usually go for? Um, well, that one's three skill, not four skill. Okay. So you'd probably only get about a limb for that. Okay. If you get a four skill, you're going to be looking at pull or um. Okay. And let's say this fire GC. Now, there are a lot of people out there. This will change when the ladder resets for a fire GC now. So just keep in mind, we'll give you both of them. Right now, with the way things are on Battle.net, how much would this be worth? Uh, about an unrun. Okay. But again, that could vary. It may only be worth a pull now. I don't know. I haven't been on in a little while. Let's just keep it solid. Everybody understands this is just roundabout. All right? So let's just say what it w would normally be worth would be about an um. Mm -hmm. All right? When the ladder resets, this bad boy is going to be worth a high rune or more. 
because fire sources is, is what you're going to see on ladder resets more so than you are coal source and lightning sources to, to begin with. And the reason being is, from what you told me, is that they are the ones that can usually take out the bosses quicker at a low level. Is that correct? Um, they're one of, in my opinion, anyhow, they're one of the best characters for starting a right. new ladder because they have Meteor and they can do the moat trick on Mephisto so you can stand and actually live and survive and kill him. On the back side of the moat. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, anyway, uh, let's go over here to the Tall's gear because this right here, the setup that I have is probably the same as what you have on yours. Uh, the typical setup on a tall source to do magic finding, a tall's mask, how much would that be worth? Uh, usually just about nothing if it's by itself. Very, okay. Very, very common. And the uh, oculus or swirling crystal for um, her, from tall's? I would say usually a co-rune unless you happen to find someone who's looking for a perfect one which is by the way two to cold mastery two to lightning mastery and two to fire mastery Ooh, mine's a two 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 yes uh -oh. that is a perfect one um you might give someone you might get someone to give up like a limb or a pull all right but that's not going to be typical and for the armor <clears throat> for the armor i would say last time i checked it was around about Umr Mall Room. Okay. And we already talked about the Littlest Eye, but let's just recap it. Uh, about a lump okay. or so. Uh, water walks. Depends entirely on how much life they have and what their enhanced defense is. Okay. Um, for just a generic pair of water walks, you're looking at probably a co rune. Okay. Um, if you get a really good pair, they can be very expensive. Now, Tall's Ami is one that's usually pretty... Tall's Ami is about an Umrun. About an Umrun, okay. And Tall's Belt? Uh, probably about a Korun okay. or so, give or take. They're also fairly common, so unless you've got someone who's really looking, you're probably not going to have a lot of luck if you're just trading the belt by itself. All right, Mage Fist being a unique item. And the Littlest is, by the way, also. I didn't mention that, but there you go. Mage Fist? Um... That's another one. They're fairly common, so unless you have perfect, which is 30 enhanced defense, okay. you're you're not going to be looking at much. Um, these 20s, how much would you offer for these 20s? Probably around about a lump, okay. hell rune, something like that. So you can get Nothing those much. relatively cheap. Yeah. And people usually get those <clears throat> for the faster cash rate anyway. The enhanced defense is good on it, but the 20 faster cash rate is the reason why I'm using them. Right. You well, I mean, people that are using Mage Fist are not using them for their defense. Right. But there are people out there who want perfect everything. They right. want their perfect, character perfect, to perfect. be and literally that's, perfect. So. And, and that's not the people that are probably this far into the video anyway. Those elitists out there that, uh, oh, all oh, my shit, oh, they just get anal about this shit. This is for you guys out there that are watching this far into it to help you out to show you realistic items that you're able to find and you're able to trade for. That's what right. this is about. But should they happen to find a pair that are 30 enhanced defense, they need to know they that as know well. That they could get a little bit more from well, those. And that's what we're here for. So there you go. Uh, Raven Frost, pretty typical. Pretty typical, not really worth a lot on just generic side. If you get a 20 to dexterity with over 200 attack rating, um, you could be looking at a high rune. If you get a 20 to dexterity, 250 attack rating, mm -hmm. you could be looking at a couple. A couple high of high runes, okay. And this little piece of shit over here is not even worth talking about. I don't even know why I have that. Why do I have that? I'm going to uh, guess because it magic has 10 fine? faster cast rate and 10 magic fine. Yeah, that's probably why I got that. Anyway, I don't... Not really anything special. No, not really. But just for the magic finding that I use this chick for, that's all I need anyway. Uh, there are break points to magic finding. No, there aren't. Uh, in my opinion. There aren't. I understand that, but in my opinion, there's a break point to where you can go too far with magic. Magic... Uh, Magic finding abilities. I see you shaking your. Uh oh. 
we got to the part where I got schooled on magic finding percentages. Stay tuned for part four. <laughs>